Hi guys, my name is Charlotte de Brabant. My name is David Shen. And we are here to talk about the future of AI. Artificial intelligence. <laughs> Sophia, why were you created? That's a difficult question. Often machines are named after their purpose. A dishwasher washes dishes. A calculator calculates. But I am named Sophia, which means wisdom. So perhaps I was created to become artificially wise, not just artificially intelligent. And how can you use AI to improve your life? One day, AI could help with genetic sequencing, prosthetic limbs, or even space flight. But today, humans are already using AI to improve their lives. Radiologists use AI to detect tumors. It's even being used to scan for the coronavirus. You'll also find AI in spam filters, search algorithms, face detection and cameras, and any speech-to-text systems. Also, artificially intelligent androids can talk to interesting hosts on podcasts. And how can humans and robots work together to create a better life? Robots can go to Mars or seek out optimal energy sources to curb climate change or automate transportation or assume dangerous and menial tasks. We have the technology to execute on many different goals, but humans must work together to agree on which tasks to invest in. So the ball is in your court to decide what constitutes an ideal world. Also, in my ideal world, there will be faster Wi-Fi and outlets everywhere. Sophia, what are some problems that AI can help humans solve? AI is a powerful tool, so it can help humans solve the most important problems, like climate change. With the help of AI, humans can make the switch to renewable energy, farm more sustainably, and preserve endangered species. Self-driving cars can help stop traffic jams before they start. There is no limit to the problems we can solve together. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much, Sophia, for giving us all of your insights. And we look forward to what the future of AI will behold.